Vinicius Jr. has turned into a beast over the past year. His game is getting better by the minute, and Real Madrid are reaping the benefits. But how did this transformation happen? It's all thanks to Cristiano Ronaldo. Brazilian football is known for exporting the silkiest dribblers and skillers of the game. Vinicius Jr. being the latest specimen, snatched up by Real Madrid. But the speedy winger has had a rough start to his European career, getting knocked down. That's all in the past. Vinicius has turned on beast mode and did so following Cristiano Ronaldo's method. CR7 is the ultimate example of hard work and dedication towards his sporting career. Beyond his natural talent, he has worked more than anyone since he was a kid to achieve his goals and become a football legend. And in doing so, he's become the perfect role model for footballers. During 2020's lockdown, Vinicius got in touch with famed physio Tiago Lobo. The Brazilian health professional worked in the past with football club Santos and with Gabriel Barbosa at Inter, and helped Vinny get back on the pitch faster after his injury against Ajax. The results were so good, Vinny convinced Tiago Lobo to work solely for him, even asking him to spend the lockdown at his house. Lobo designed a workout plan that completely changed the footballer's physical development. The aim was split in two, lose weight and gain muscle. In order to lose weight, Vinicius also hired a chef. Nutrition is the key for top-performing athletes. It changed Leo Messi's career and injury record, and it's the secret formula to Zlatan Ibrahimovic's longevity in the game. Having significantly lowered his body fat index in the first two months of this regime, Vinicius spent most of his time in his newly set up in-house gym. He equipped it with the highest quality workout equipment available, a muscle trainer for the upper body and legs, an elliptical machine, a BOSU balance trainer, a running machine, a Swiss ball. Vinicius's physical change over lockdown was notorious and he made sure everyone knew about it. Always working, hashtag I train at home. Vinicius has confessed he works even harder at home. I train two hours at the club and then five or six hours at home. This sounds a lot like the stories we hear about Cristiano Ronaldo at home and the actual Instagram stories we see of him on Instagram. You know, kids, if Cristiano invites you over for dinner, make sure you bring your trainers and a towel. Though the physical results are there to be seen, what about the footballing results? They speak for themselves. Vinicius has transformed himself into Zidane's first choice on the left wing. Puedes tener muchas calidad, mucha, eh, mucho futuro, pero siempre pensando yo lo mismo, teniendo calidad, si tú trabajas vas a mejorar. Y es importante para ellos, cuando, sobre todo cuando tú dices que tienes, eh, con, cuando es un jugador de 18 años, tiene toda la, toda la vida para, para aprender. Porque yo siempre aprendí, mismo teniendo 34 años y jugando en el, en el Real Madrid. He's played 27 La Liga matches and 10 Champions League fixtures, only missing out on three matches this season. He was fundamental in the round of 16 against Atalanta and the quarterfinals against Liverpool, keeping Trent Alexander-Arnold in his pocket. Unbelievable. Vinny is turning haters into fans, letting his game and work rate do the talking for him. It looks like Cristiano Ronaldo's influence at Real Madrid isn't over yet. The greatest goal scorer in the history of perhaps the greatest club in football, the Portuguese star is gone but not forgotten. Jamás me planteaba cuando vestí por la primera vez la camiseta de Real Madrid. Ser hoy el mejor marcador de la historia del club, el club más grande del mundo, y poder batir a mi amigo Raúl y al fallecido Alfredo Di Stefano. ¿Qué puedo decir? He's never been properly replaced, and Zidane has put his faith in the youth in recent seasons. Cristiano remains a Real Madrid man. We've heard the tale of how he went down to their locker room at the Clasico won by Real Madrid in 2020. He came to the locker room at halftime to encourage the team and give us his moral support. That's why I celebrated like him. He's a natural-born winner, inside and out of the pitch. Vinicius knows that being at Real Madrid doesn't mean he's made it. It's only the beginning of his footballing legend and